Oof. I have to hold this thing completely sideways just to read this. Coffins on sale! Following the launch of the largest unnamed hearse liner, the World Funeral Agency starts a grand sale of coffins for space funerals. You can get discounts up to 60% at all specialized stores. Don't be late to buy your future at a reduced price. Slightly morbid ad. Unfortunately, this is the end of an era. That's the last of the newspaper. I'll have to find something else to read in the future. Hello, welcome back to Breath Edge. So, as you can see, I have moved everything, everything on up. I've got kind of more rare crafting components, more commons. Yep. So, let's first of all take a look through and see if there's... Oh, I, I guess I should look in the research and see if there's anything I immediately want. This enhanced handy scrapper calls to me, yes. But also, all these things are interesting. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. All this research. Now, the one I want is just rolled fabric, lead paint, and two aluminum. That's the one that the plot is calling me for. So, uh, let's see here. Lead paint. A roll of fabric would be four pieces of fabric. Fabric is something I've not been gathering, so I'd need to go... I'd need to go out for that. Go out and find it. But everything else, I think I should have. Two pieces of aluminum. Yep. Anything else that's calling to me in particular? That enhanced handy scrapper, yeah. That blaster is interesting too. So many new things to get into. Yes. Let's first see if I have enough refined metal on hand. So that's one, two, three. Yep, we should have enough. There we are, and that should allow us to... We could also research the paint scraper. Hmm, but yes, enhanced handy scrapper. If you dip the usual handy scrapper into molten metal, you can get an, an unusual enhanced handy scrapper. And if you add some screws to it, you can make your unusual handy scrapper look more brutal. So brutal. Wow, that's a five-minute timer on it? Okay, that's... Does that just go while I'm away? Yeah, I, it, it better. I'm not going to wait sitting at a screen staring for five minutes. So I guess while I was doing that, I'll go out and refresh my stocks of metal. And we can check out some of the... Oh, yes, I'd better... I, I put all of my life support materials in here. Just as I was trying to save as much pack space as possible. Yes, yeah, so let's go out while that's ticking down and let's let's see what the local supplies that I was hoping would be present are like. So first of all, we got a sparky thingy. Fascinating. This is probably gonna hurt. I warned you, don't touch the active cores. You don't say. Except you kind of didn't warn me about that suit, I don't think. Okay, so it looks like this is... Is that Nutrient Goo? Huh. Nutrient Goo, I saw a titanium nodule. Bit of resin right there. A lot of resin right there. Excellent, excellent. Not get enough resin in my diet. Hmm. I'm not seeing much in the way of just good old baseline metal. Could be that we might have to go hunting for just metal away from our base. Goodness, more resin. I certainly found a gold mine of that. Yeah, we got lots in the way of titanium. Lots in the way of nutrient goo, oddly enough.
even some ice, and not seeing much plain old vanilla metal. Hmm. So is there any way I can approach the core from a different direction? Like, if I get up close to... No. That's not happening. Oh, well. Wow, we actually have too much resin. Okay, let's compact some of it down, I guess. Use the last of our metal for it. How's this coming along? It's a-coming. At least we found a piece of fabric. That'll help out. I kind of don't have any place to store this battery right now. I guess it'll just stay in here for the moment. Okay, let's keep on working our way up the turbines. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the resources I found so far. I just wish I had... A source of good old-fashioned metal. Interesting spinny thing. Coffin. Ah, lovely. It does let us know even when we're out and about. All these coffins belong to the batch for the year 2020. This was the golden age of the Breath Edge Funeral Agency, but it's unclear what these old coffins are doing among this debris. Must be developer coffins, I guess. A little bit of metal, at least. So this is where they're buried. <laughs> Honesty, freedom, democracy. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. I imagine that fan would be brutal to my bike if I try and drive it through and fail. Okay, let's go back home and see what that enhanced handy scrapper is all about. Seeing it on the tools list. Items. Do I, do I need to do something in the research table? Okay, learn blueprint. That's a little bit awkward. Yeah, there we go. It's just a refined metal and a, another piece of titanium. Okay. That's uh. So it takes one more metal than the base than the baseline handy scrapper, and it takes one piece of titanium, but in return I get almost twice the durability. That's a pretty good trade. Is there anything else I can get going? Um, four titanium, two inductor, two compensator. What do inductors and compensators cost? Metal. And refined metal. Yeah, no, I can't do that. I don't have the metal for it. Could use up some of my resin on this and just open up my, some space for myself. I don't know what I'm going to need more chewing gum for, but why not? We might as well do as much of the research as we can. Okay, let's see what this leaf icon over here... Mm, no, I think that's a bit too far away. I would need oxygen candles. Was there metal down here in the beef zone? A 
little bit. But not really the industrial amounts of it that I'm going to need. synthetic cows. Synthetic hay? Is a can of beef something I can eat? No, not really. It's just a crafting item. I guess I would need a can opener to eat it. And since I don't have one of those, I just use it for crafting. That makes sense. Let's grab a few oxygen candles so I can go further afield. Maybe check out either the leaf icon or what I remember being the giant fat guy that Babe was talking about. Okay, let's get out of here. Eeny, meeny, miny. Boom. Electric bomb. That seems like an interesting icon to check out. Well, I guess we'll have to see what that's up about once we get back. You think that all these broken scraps would have a bit more metal I could use? There's an engineering shuttle ahead. I wonder how you Ooh. find everything so quickly. Is it because of my hints? An engineering shuttle? Does it have an air refill for me? It do. There's some nice stuff in here. I won't say no to more refined metal. Just take care of that. Hmm. He made an electric comb? Such an amateur device can make your hair super voluminous so you can look gorgeous on your deathbed. I don't know. I, I think that the electric factor would make your hair stand up and look thinner. Eh. Take it anyway. See if Sue has anything to say. The disaster probably killed the owner before they completed their pursuit of fashion. Tragedy. Could be a whole new uh, a whole new era of fashion that he was founding right here. Let's just let's just uh, let's just leave that here. I think I, I don't think my vanity will serve me. Okay, so we have a nice air refill here. Useful little forward base for checking out deeper in. I will mark it. Okay, thank you, Suit. You could be more specific, please. right I also need to uh, I need to build a interphone back at the base so I can start scanning all those hollow tapes or whatever encrypted tapes something exploded here probably you don't say EMP grenade blueprint Ah, so there's some things that I can just earn for free without having to do the research. That's interesting. I imagine that if I decided to, like, do a deep dive into the wiki, I could 
really optimize my path and like figure out the minimum resources I need to waste to advance, but uh, no. This feels more like a, a blind playthrough kind of game. There we go. It's easy enough to avoid those fan blades. Now, if only I could just not crash into something that's holding really damn still. Hmm. Steering wheel, but I can't scan it. I'm still wondering what that scan for steering wheels thing is all about. In any case, let's uh, undo my blunder. Perfect. Now we're really close to that little leaf symbol. So let us not retreat. Let's continue plundering the depths. This all looks very, very promising. These look like tail sections. There are declared cargo holds inside for transporting synthetic beef, milk, and plant food. There might be something useful here. Probably they fed synthetic cows with it. Neat. Attention smuggler. Despite the FDA's requirements of using only synthetic meat products, its composition says natural meat, but doesn't state what kind of meat exactly. It's better not to analyze it. Yeah, you're probably right. This kitchenware is useless in space. It's probably handmade. Quite well handmade. This is gorgeous. Ah. And it lost its interesting, uh, its interesting meal. Pack of dumplings? Instant food with ostensibly natural meat. Such products are used by all the population groups, but they are especially popular on poor planets, along with storing onions in pantyhose. These dumplings are made according to the classic recipe, which is based on the legends and myths of ancient Greece, as well as duck and pork tails. The best poachers of the Bull Star Cluster collected real pieces of meat for you to enjoy the taste of real food, without synthetic substitutes, color additives, or preservatives, asterisk. Bon appetit! Asterisk, this text may be part of an advertising campaign and may not be related to this particular product. Any attempt to collect pieces of meat in the Bullstar Cluster on your own are dangerous and are punishable by law. Category 5, ready to cook dumplings with meat. Cooking instructions. Add the dumplings to one liter of salted boiling water and cook for three to six minutes after they float to the surface. Scoop the dumpling out with a skimmer or just pour the water out of the saucepan. Dress yourself and then dress the dumplings with any sauce or herbs you like. No expiry date, calories, a lot. Neat. You can relax. Despite what the package says, natural meat is not found in its composition. Someone was simply deceived. What a relief. Yes, I've, I've learned to start picking everything up because suit often has interesting things to say. So all the plant life and all the... functional farm for synthesizing beef. However, the declaration mentions only the transportation of goods. There is no data about any research conducted on the liner unnamed, but it seems that apart from transporting food, they also did some biological experiments in these sections. Oh, what a strange dear. place. But maybe we can find something useful here. Hmm. Looks like an undamaged cargo section with dairy products. Special containers with cooling gel are used for transporting milk. The gel is ideal for reducing the core's activity. What's left to do is to find the emergency unloading lever, get inside the section, pump out the cooling gel, and launch it into the liner. Piece of cake! Yeah, real easy compared to this something. Come in handy if you calibrate it correctly. So that's what the soil analyzer is for. It's essentially a door opener for that. Huh. We're actually really close to our goal. Oh, I guess we've decided that is our new goal. Is to get into there. Yeah, get into the bio module. 
This might be a little bit tight. But I make it with plenty of time. Alright, I guess now at this point I just need to head home, pick up that gum recipe, and see if I can make a soil analyzer. And an interphone. Need to make the interphone. Okay, let's see what's what. First of all, chewing gum, a wonderful thing for stopping leaks and interlocutors. So, soil analyzer, what did that look like? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I guess I got the blueprint just from scanning the thing, didn't I? Yeah, I did, neat. So that's really not hard to make at all. Battery, electronics, magnet, times two, and plastic times two. I should have all of that. Plastic times two. Uh, a battery. And electronics. Which I need to get some more of those. But, easy as you pleasey. Soil tool. A tool of a real gardener, which can analyze the structure, density, and purity of the soil. It's used by grave robbers, surgeons, and the military because it can analyze anything anywhere when properly adjusted. Neat. I can analyze all the things. I just noticed that, yes, I have the spinning ball of tape. Clearly I know what's most important. So... What else have I got on the menu? An enhanced flashlight might be doable. Hmm. Military oxygen? I'd need a lot of electronics for that. Compensator times two, generator times two. So the compensator is going to take a lot of refined metal. Four refined metal in total. Uh, generator times two. Yeah, I'm also going to need to find some more alkali and some more electronics. Now, the electronics are easy enough to find. I just haven't been picking them up because of sheer laziness, to be honest. No, I want to get something on the research table. So that's four light bulbs, four plastic. I think I put some plastic in here. Yeah, I couldn't decide if plastic was tier 1 or tier 2. So let's get that on the menu. And let's head back to the biodome. It's definitely very polite of the game to give me this free air refill right close by. Fill the bike while we're at it. I mean, when I'm not spending a bunch of extra time looking around, picking up scrap metal and the like, I don't necessarily need it, but it's still very nice. I wonder what that green radiation leaking off of it is. That looks interesting. Stop. Judging by the signal, there's an anti-asteroid turret nearby. I hope you don't look much like an asteroid, but it's recommended that you stay away from the guns. These turrets can attack a large moving object without even knowing how valuable the spacesuit on this object is. Oh, well. It would, it would be a, a shame to ruin your value suit. 
Just think of all the black market money I'd be missing out of when I inevitably sell you at the end of this adventure. Neat. So... It ain't gonna let me in there, I guess. This is the first time I've seen a spacesuit designed for a cow. Usually they don't keep animals in open space, even synthetic ones. Although your chicken triggers some questions. You know, I'm surprised that's the first you're asking me about the chicken. Bioglue is the basis of a synthetic organism. The composition is too complex for homebrew reproduction. Fascinating. Biologists tried to make synthetic cows adaptable to independent growth and grazing, and therefore jelly-like specimens without any bone structure did not do well. Hmm. Found some actual dang meat. Very neat. So just doing my dangdest to stay out of the line of sight of those asteroid turrets. Let's work our way around and see what we can see here. Hmm. Babe, I detect cinema debris. If you're tired and want relax watching exciting movie, you fly there. There's a turret somewhere the here. Yes, thank you, suit. Thank you for interrupting, as always. So how do I get in? The doors are locked. These locks can only be opened with a special tool from outside. Or, alternatively, they can be broken. You are good at doing that. Okay, let's deal with our problem here. Where are the doors? You must unlock the doors. 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 Okay. So where's the special tool slot? Like, it was hinting that I would need the soil analyzer. Hold on, I, I guess I need to go back and reread what the suit was saying as his hint. I don't want to do that where I just have air. So let me just caveman around and see if I can figure it out before then. Turret signal. Be careful. Thank you, suit. It's strange that this section is protected with weapons, seeing that the dairy products don't cost much. Hmm. The plot thickens. In any case, we don't have another candle, so let's head back for some more air. Okay, so let's see what Suit was trying to tell us earlier that I'm just too stupid to remember. And also, uh... Babe, I detect cinema debris. If you're tired and want relax watching mo exciting movie, you'll fly there. The main thing is stay close to anti-asteroid turret. I get its signals from there. Well, that's a very nice... That's a very nice little... They, they make those lovely beacons with their big radioac radioactive green lines. It'll be easy to spot it. Thank you, babe. Oh, boy. Cooling gel are used for transporting milk. The gel is ideal for reducing the core's activity. What's left to do is find the emergency unloading lever, get inside the section, pump out the cooling gel, and launch it into the liner. So... Hmm... Can 
can only be opened with a special tool from outside. Hmm. So I need to get in and pump out the cooling gel. Or I need a special tool. I'm not entirely sure what the game wants from me here. Isn't that an interesting feeling? No. That almost looks like a thingy. Such large windows could only be in the five-star modules of the liner. It seems that rich passengers consider a great view to be more important than safety. Well, look where it got him. Yeah. Ooh. Big window, you say? Well, I'm sure that'll turn out a lot more nicely for me than for them. Table. I want this table! Please, can I have table? Some oxygen candles are nice, at least. Large partition? Okay. And I am in need of new scanner. Well, if nothing else, this trip has been somewhat profitable. I guess I need to inspect my meat, too. It's very important that I play with my meat in front of all of you. Praise it. Tell you all what it's about and give it a real close and re real close look. Maybe a sniff or two. Yeah. Tell you all about my meat. Seems like some of the synthetic cows were less fortunate. Otherwise, this meat wouldn't be flying around without a package. Oh, it's both my meat and my package. If you defrost and fry it, you'll have something to eat. So, it requires some prep, but it may be better food than the nutrition packages. Always an interesting idea. Can I use that just right here? Yeah, I can make myself a steak. A juicy, medium-well piece of disgusting synthetic beef. It'll never replace real meat, but even grass will do if you're really hungry. It looks like a perfectly acceptable steak. Don't be racist against the origin of your meat. Alright, let's continue inspecting the site. Yeah, let's explore some of these green tubes. Yeah, they've got a couple of... Why did I get all turned around? They've got a couple of interesting looking things inside of them. Cans of beef. Fabric! Okay, that should be enough to uh, start researching the spacesuit when I decide to go back home. Hmm. You know, Suit said that he's never seen a spacesuit for cows, but I'm seeing a bunch of cans of beef in all of these plant sections where I would think they would just be grazing if they're not just growing it for him to his feed, which would be more reasonable probably. Still, zero gravity cr cows trying to graze off the walls is hilarious enough as a mental image. Then I think it's what I'm gonna go with. Oof. A frozen dumpling. It's impossible to chew on it, and there's no place you can cook it in space. Suit has nothing to say. 
Yeesh, poor guy. At least he died with the taste of real meat in his mouth. Not actual real meat, but a, a convincing taste of it. Yeah, this bike is definitely saving my butt when it comes to making long trips. <clears throat> Although maybe I should have brought an oxygen station just so I don't need to make those back and forth trips. Yeah, I'm nowhere even close to filling up my inventory just yet. Yeah, let's cook up the steaks. It's not like they'll go bad. No, seriously. Who the hell cooks their steaks medium well? You could at least be a decent human being and keep it medium rare or below. There's your problem. It's not disgusting because it's synthetic, it's disgusting because you're cooking it wrong. In that you're really cooking it at all. Okay, so let's continue our little conundrum here. Needs a specialized tool or break the door. Be careful. Yes, yes, dude, I'm aware of the turrets. Thank you very much. Aha! Plant explosives on the locking mechanism. So that's what explosives would be used for. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other means of getting inside, so... I'm thinking I might just need to go make some explosives. I mean, I, I've got the... I've got the recipe for it already known, so... It's not like it requires new research or anything. And really, what other opportunity are we going to have to use explosives? Come on. So let's just disregard Suit's very reasonable plan and uh, make our own plan. Huh. I guess that must be the cinema, the cowboy hat. They were showing westerns? Sounds reasonable. Alright, let's see about that lovely new... Electrical engineer, so I need a roll of fabric, lead paint, and two aluminum. Two aluminum, lead paint, and fabric should be easy enough. Yeah, there we go. And in the meantime, that, and let's see what that's about. So... Oh wow, that's just a one minute research? you think that would take longer than anything so far. So, enhanced flashlight. It discharges much longer than the usual spacesuit flashlight, but it's junk all the same. Two battery, two light bulb, and two plastic. That's easy. It just has a little extra dongle on the bottom of it. Yeah, those two little screw mounts are finally being used for something. Neat. I guess just in case we can keep the old model in here. Yep, and it looks like it's the same bar, just larger. Doesn't get any brighter, just has a longer battery life. Interesting. Babe. You again use database of liner to do some calculations? I see request to protect Sue from electricity. It is very dangerous. Well, danger's my middle name, babe. Albeit my first two names are constantly in, and my last two are 
Uh, well, I, I can't think of them at the moment. Probably because I'm just in so much danger. Yeah. So what's the difference between this and the and the engineering spacesuit? The engineering services on large spaceships are always engaged in a variety of work, from the repair of the reserve combustion engine during its work to the emergency elimination of a hole in the ship in outer space. That is why they try to protect engineering spacesuits from everything, especially from strong temperature changes. Heat and cold are felt equally unpleasant in this suit, but it's not fatal. So I guess that protects me from heat and cold, fire, and it might prevent my helmet from icing up. Whereas I'm getting the the uh, hint that this is for electricity. When working with electricity, it's not just enough to wear rubber gloves, especially if you're messing with the liner's energy cores. I remember Grandpa put on such foil even when the risk of being exposed to radiation was very low. So I wouldn't risk going near any engine on a giant liner without such a suit. So I just need another roll of fabric, resin, and two more aluminum. That aluminum is going to be the problem there. Yup. Yup. I am out of aluminum again, and we all know how wonderful searching for aluminum goes for me. Oh boy. Mm. Nothing for it but to do it, I guess. Yep. Because I'm interested at uh, what I can do with those little cores, so yep. I guess instead of uh, oh yeah let's let's see what explosives would cost me exactly. It'd be items yeah, explosives, battery wire, two cans of beef and electronics. I can make that right now. Yeah. Okay, battery, two cans of beef, electronics, and a wire. So that's one option right there, is I can uh, go and use the explosives on the door and see what that'll avail me. The other one is I can look around some of the asteroids in that area while I'm there and see if there's an aluminum node. Because there were some promising looking rocks roughly in the area. Just kind of scan these over with my eyeballs as I'm passing them by. what we shall see. This is also a promising little mini wreck. What's all this about? Apparently he died in comfort and without fear. Maybe you can assemble such a bench as well. <laughs> Into space without fear. How to stop being afraid of death in space. How to stop being afraid of death in space. 145 tips of a practicing psychologist who has never been to space. It's a great book, but to be honest, it's useless. It has expensive paper and colored pictures, though. Fancy. Is it possible to live a fulfilling life while being afraid of dying in space? The famous thrill-seeker and psychologist Henry Freitzen gives a very clear answer to this question and, and many other ones. So what's his answer? Find out in the absolute bestseller. Read all of Henry Freitzen's books from the series Without Fear. How to go out without fear of a piano following on your head. How to kill a spider with your slipper. How to ask strangers on the street for directions. I, I could honestly kind of use that one. How to stop being afraid of death in space. How to calm down in a dark, enclosed space. Book publisher. Hmm. Book has... Or a suit has nothing to say about the matter. Yeah, oh yeah, I needed to make a new scanner. Derp. Oh well. I suppose a bench would be a relatively good surface to start putting suitcases on, if nothing else. At least I know where it is now. Yeah, and it's even marked on my map. I'm hoping that once I'm inside, I can disable those asteroid turrets so that I can check out the area without fear of getting roided. Okay, 
let's keep the bike a fair distance away from that just in case. The turret has noticed you. Yes, and I've noticed it, suit. Thank you. Oh boy. Aw, that was kind of disappointing. Blown up mechanism. So now I guess I can just hit the hit the lever. You must unlock the doors. Oh, I see. I need to hit all the locking mechanisms. So that was one. There's two more. So I'm gonna need to hunt down all those cans of beef, I imagine. Yeah. So I need three more sets of explosives. That makes a bit more sense as to being a uh, as to being a proper barrier because those explosives were pretty easy to manufacture. Yep. Okay. Ooh, lovely little chunks of metal, at least. I'm not seeing any aluminum in the area. Hmm. Well, so now we got two things that we need to gather up in the area. We need to gather up cans of beef, and we need to gather up that metal that I saw for floating, because metal is just a resource that we're short on right now. Synthetic cows don't quite need any eyes. Well, they themselves aren't needed much. However, their creation led to a breakthrough in the field of prosthetics, which recouped the expenses for this stupid idea. <laughs> There's honest to god background lore here. That's interesting. Can o beef. Lots of meat. If I ever want for food, it doesn't come out of a plastic package. I think I'm kind of set. It's one more explosive. Grizzly process. The most important organ for milk production. Biologists have long tried to simplify its design and add a tap to it, but in the end, they just copy the way it works from a live cow. Interesting. You won't be able to eat this until you remove the bio glue. Hmm. <laughs> So what I'm wondering is, what is bioglue made out of? Like, could you just print up steaks instead of printing a whole cow? Although obviously the manure has advantages of its own, so yeah, printing up a whole cow is advantageous in some ways. And yes, I do plan to burn a candle. beef. Another explosive. Yes, yes, I know. And burn a candle so I can just keep on exploring. This device synthesizes bioglue from the tanks which remained intact. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if these the cans digestive of... tract which processes almost any organic matter into energy, muscle mass, and milk. The cost of developing such a complex synthetic system has always caused heated debate in society due to a bunch of radicals being displeased with it. Well, I mean, being displeased about frivolous spending isn't a radical thing. That's just a sane thing. The question is, is it truly frivolous? Because by all means, they seem to have a exportable product in the form of that manure. And if it can be fed from any organic matter, then... Yeah, you, you might have an industry there. 
using the cows as garbage disposals or even just like abstracting the cow into like a tank with just the digestive system in it use it as essentially a recycling processor turn garbage into fuel Seriously, can one of these rocks have an aluminum blister? That would make me a happy, happy boy. Because I've got enough beef cans. All I need is the aluminum. Babe, here, fly a lot of garbage. Signal becomes unstable. If you lose me, don't worry. It's just garbage hitting the antenna. But I'm going to try and repair it. See, that seems more like sane babe than usual babe. That's interesting. Let me get an air refill just because I'm close. But then I definitely want to check out what was happening inside that little geode asteroid. Like, babe seems, uh... Babe seems to have split personalities almost. More and more, I'm hearing from Sane Babe instead of instead of um, interesting advice, Babe. And I mean, a zone with just a bunch of floating garbage isn't even a lethal hazard. If anything, in the situation I'm running off of, that's kind of a boon. Yes, let's see here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I've got more than enough. More than enough beef. Here is, in fact, the beef. We have found it. It seems that when I'm sitting in the bike, the flashlight doesn't use charge. Let's see what's up in here. There's a smoke trail. Hmm. Interesting. ZAZ-1 manual. The most complete guide to repairing the ZAZ-1 car by yourself. Despite the abundance of detailed images, most of the cars got disassembled instead of being repaired. ZAZ-1 repair instructions. You must scan every page to update my library. Okay. I'm guessing that means it's a partial blueprint and I'm gonna have to find more secret books somewhere. Magnets are rare. Yes, it seems that if you explore enough, you might not have to do all that much research. Screw it, let's burn our second candle and just keep exploring the wreckage. Let's see what's going on down here. Again, hoping for that aluminum blister. Those are so rare. I needs them. I will mark it. Okay, suit. Thank you. You failed to assemble a table consisting of ten parts according to the blueprint. Someone has taken away your title of Master Engineer. Wow. Well, I finally found myself a table. I was hoping that would be breakable. Yeah, I need to make myself a new scanner. Next time I visit home. That is definitely on the agenda. Damn. 
damn it. Where is all the aluminum in the game? Watch, I bet as soon as I spend, like, hours and hours hunting it up and completing all the research and all that stuff, like, I'm gonna find a zone with hundreds of aluminum just laying around. Kinda like how this is the meat zone. There must be an aluminum zone somewhere. Let's see if I can zoom over to that. Because that looks like another intact ship, which might mean it's another... It's another forward operating base. These little engineering ships are being such a boon. Yeah, this might be... This might be a forward base for exploring this the ice testicle. Station. Yeah... Apparently, someone tried to make a cryo chamber out of it to wait for the rescuers. Someone has clearly read a lot of science fiction books. Well, I mean... If it works... From what you're implying, it doesn't, but... Yeah. Someone else came upon the idea of a handy scrapper, I see. I won't say no to it. I guess I need to make a damn scanner. Of course... The moment that I run out of scanner is the moment I start stumbling across millions of them. Oh, shoot. I need I need to repair this before it'll be useful to me. And yes, it's it's not a uh it doesn't supply the room. It's one of these where I have to refill manually. Still, that is not terrible. It is still free air. Anything else in here I can scan or make use of? Some large oxygen candles. But yes, I, I guess I accidentally chose a really good place for my base. Um, Maybe not accidentally. I did hunt around a little, but I wasn't, like... I didn't know about any of these forward oxygen stations near the zones of interest that are kind of perfectly spaced to allow me to hopscotch out. I guess I just... I, may, I, I had a good eye for once in my life. Huzzah! It occurs to me I'm going to need more electronics to make the to make the uh, explosives. The place I've seen the most electronics is back in the electrical tape zone. So let's do a trip back to the old hovel. It's also time to give that a little bit more fuel. Yes, thankfully fuel is one thing we're not short of. I have had much luck finding resin canisters. Yeah, I remember this place having a, a pretty good collection of those little garbage collector crash zone thingers. And I was just kind of too lazy and too boggled down with inventory to start picking them up. Grandpa's shrine yet. I don't have a, a proper uh, I don't have a proper pedestal for it, but yeah, maybe tables will serve now that I can build them. Hello. Oh, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? That is wonderful news. Drill in celebration. Just kind of picking through the entire zone, uh, getting as much electronics as I can, hoping that I can get enough of them to kind of get all the research done. 
And it's definitely nice having a, a free refill out in the range. And I think that was the last one I've seen. There might be some more in the crash zone further in. Is that what I think it is? It is, but I don't have the drill power to completely excavate it. And I don't have the grabber power. Still, I know that, uh, yes, this is, this is a very rich zone in some very rare materials. Keep that in my mind in a safe little place where not even I can find it, probably. Oh my god, it's another one. Those were just taunting me. So tantalizingly close, yet so invisible to my stupidity. Yeah, pretty good haul, I think. What I really wish I could craft over on the new home is I wish I could make a bed so I could heal for free. The thruster works on the bike? That's amazing! So the thruster isn't a completely useless piece of equipment after all. I can't believe I didn't try that before now. Alright. Let's start seeing about uh, assembling us some lovely new equipment. So, resin, roll of fabric, and... Okay, so resin is super easy. Roll of fabric, can we swing that? I don't think we can. Tragic. Let's put this away. So we need three more explosives. So three wire, three battery. Just get those going. Hmm. Oh, this must be a decor item. Yeah. Can I balance that on the... Not really. Well, kinda. Yeah, sure. That's that's just a display piece now. Until we inevitably have to build something on that wall. Okay, so... I've got my three explosives. Let's just put the rest of that away. So, what do I need? I need some more fabric, so I need to go bash some containers. I need a new scanner. Need new scanner. Metal, battery, plastic, light bulb. Battery, light bulb. Plastic wire, I think it was. Metal. I need metal. New scanner. I'm also going to need a new grabber pretty soon, but that can wait. That can wait. And I need to deplete these handy scrappers that are fully on my inventory space anyway. Yeah. Okay, anything I can put on the research table. Bribe, I don't have the paint for that. Four electronics, two compensator, two generator. Okay, so first do I have the electronics? 
No, I'm one electronics short. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't even know what would go into a breath edge energy core. Hmm. Can I swing three refined metal? Just to put something on the research table? Yeah, we can swing that. So, get that scraper going. Oh, that's a short one. That ain't even worth it, but oh well. Oh well. Let's go blow some stuff up. Ah, how lovely. A proper table at last. And let's just keep on going, because I'm I'm going to bet that there's going to be air in there once I crack it open. Which isn't how space should work, but, well, we've said that a lot in this game. Thank you, Sue. So that's the one we've already got. We need this one. We need this one. And we need this one. Beautiful. It worked. Now you have to find the airlock. Okay. That can't be too terribly hard. That is an incredibly annoying noise. Okay. This is definitely not a cargo section, despite it looking like one in the mark of the liner's declaration. Somebody uh -huh. wanted to keep these rooms secret. Interesting. Well... This looks like a lovely little cliffhanger to leave you all on, so I'll...